everyone. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are all looking forward to the next um, fragrance review that I have. So as you, as you can see on your screen, I have the Wild Madagascar Vanilla from Bath & Body Works. As you can see on your left side, I have the, the uh, Ultra Shea Body Cream. And on your right side, I have the Fragrance Mist. So this is what I've been using for this past week, and I really like it. I have used this previously once before, so I didn't use up all this in one week, but I used up quite a bit of it in one week. Um, so I would say when I started this review, I was probably at maybe right there. So that's about a week's worth right here from my thumb down to where the uh, water line is there. That's about a week's worth of use. But I really like this fragrance. It's discontinued in the store, but you can still get it online. Um, and it's a really good fragrance. And actually today they're doing the... Um, in store on online $4.95 fragrance mist. So if you guys want to try this fragrance, for $4.95, it's not bad. And if you don't like it, you can take it back to the store. What I've heard, I mean, some stores are different, but it's definitely worth the $4.95 investment. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get into um, what the notes are in this fragrance. I did have the um, shower gel at one time too, but I did go through that. That's why it's not in this video. So, fragrance notes in this are Madagascar Vanilla Accord, African Pear, Wild Jasmine, and White Sandalwood. So, those are the notes that Bath & Body Works puts in, um, that they say that's in this fragrance. However, on my skin, I get a strong anise note. And if you guys are curious what anise is, if you guys have smelled, like, the licorice, the, the licorice ropes, that's basically what an anise scent is. And there's two different kinds. There's the black licorice and the red licorice. Um, on my skin, and as I spray it out, I get a heavy red licorice note and a little bit of cherry in there too. I do get that out of the fragrance. I know that's not in the notes, but that's definitely what I get out of this. And it's a really a nice fragrance for fall and winter time. It's different, but I like it like that. Um, it's a very unique fragrance. I like it a lot. As I've said probably 20 times before, it's a good one. Fragrance lasting hours on this. Eh, the sillage really isn't that great. It could be better. Um, it's about four hours before you have to reply anything. So I guess it's pretty good. Um, it's not bad, so it's average. Um, fragrance projection. Um, again... Like I said in lots of my other videos, it depends on how much you use. Um, for me, it's about a moderate scent. Um, it's not one of those ones that you're going to smell across the room. You won't even smell it like within table distance. This is definitely one that likes to stick more to the skin. Um, but it's a good fragrance. Fragrance, uh, the best time to wear this fragrance, I think this fragrance is pretty versatile because of the notes that are in it. The vanilla makes it more of a uh, evening fragrance, which is nice. Um, in my opinion, you can do this daytime or evening. It really just depends on the event of the day, what you guys got going on, how you want to use it. I think it would be a nice date night fragrance or a movie night fragrance um, or a casual fragrance. Um, definitely day and evening appropriate. On my scale of 1 to 10 for the conclusion of this fragrance, I'm going to give it a probably a 5 out of 10. It's very average. Um, it's, a good uh, it's a good fragrance nonetheless. I do like it. Um, would I, re would I repurchase this fragrance? Eh, maybe. But if I repurchased it, it would definitely be with a body lotion and not the body cream because the body cream is starting to turn on me. Um... If you can see that, it's yellowing a little bit, but I don't want to throw in anything out. As you can see, it's starting to get yellow. It is turning, um, but I'm trying to use this up. I think what I'm going to do with it now, since the review is going to be done with this, this might be a body cream that I put in the shower to use it as a shower gel or shave when I shave my legs. So I might do that. That way I can actually use up the rest of the body cream because I don't really like to get rid of my fragrances. I know you can't exchange things, but I don't really like to do that. And I'm going to do an exchange for the Land of Sweets. So I don't want to be one of those people that always does exchanges. So basically, I think what I'll do is I'll take this body cream and I'll put it in the shower and use it as the shave gel. I think that's what I'm going to do to get through with it. 
Um, but yeah, I definitely would probably repurchase this again, but I would repurchase it with the lotion because the lotion will last longer than the body creams will. But yeah, it's definitely a nice fragrance. I, like I said, would repurchase it third time now. Um, but yeah, I definitely would repurchase this because I do like that anise scent in it. So yeah, it's a good one. All right, guys, now we are going to do the next, um, review for the next week. I will be right back. Hold on just a second, guys. All right, let's go ahead and pick out next week's fragrance. As you can see, I have a few of these cards in here. Now, there are more, but these are basically cards that are still fall uh, appropriate. This really isn't any of the holiday stuff. Well, it might be a little bit of the holiday stuff, but I have the fall and holiday stuff in there if I do need to review any of it because it is getting closer to Christmas. So I'm still doing Bath & Body Works because I don't want to do any more of my high-end ones yet, but this is definitely still Bath & Body Works. So all these cards are Bath & Body Works. But let's go ahead and see what we can play on. What's the next fragrance we're going to do, guys? All right, that's a lot more shook up. I'm not done yet. Okay. Now, that's better. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my hand in there. Feel around. All right, we're going to pull out the next week's fragrance review in three, two, and one. Here it is. So, this is what it's <laughs> back there. Okay. So we are going to do Red Velvet Red Velvet Cheer. That's going to be the next week's fragrance review. I hope you guys are looking forward to this. This is going to be my first um, holiday fragrance, I think. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, this is my first holiday fragrance that I have reviewed since this filming, obviously. Sorry, guys, I'm tired, and I had an energy drink, and I'm a little out, a little around all over. Ugh, sorry. Anyway, so it's going to be Red Velvet Cheer. I got this in December 21st of 2015, so it's been a little while. Um, I do have the lotion, so I know the lotion's still good. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. I hope you guys liked the review for my Wild Madagascar Vanilla from Bath & Body Works. And as always, guys, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, never settle for second best. You deserve to be number one, and I'll see you next week. Look forward to the next review. Bye, guys. Oh, and happy, um, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.